Today let's unbox the latest KP3S Pro. It's well packaged in a solid box. Some tools are required to unbox and assemble it. You will need a knife. Mostly to open the box. A set of screwdrivers. See so the box is sealed tightly and well. It takes a while to open up. That protects the printer during the shipping. Alright, that's it. A user manual is on the top. This huge foam protects most items inside the box. An accessory box. Some filament for test printing. Power cable. A filament holder. Next is the KP3S Pro itself. It was held tightly by another foam. A screw rod. So that's everything in the box. Let's see what accessories we have. A wrench and some Allen keys. Some nozzle cleaning needles. Card reader and an SD card. Some reusable zip tape. A cutter. A PTFE tube. A USB cable. Backup parts. Several long screws. Several short screws. That's all. The assembling is quite easy. Just tight a few screws. Use the stock tools. Or use a screw set instead. Let's start with the T nuts. And the screw rod. The rod is sealed inside a tube. It's straight and protected well. Take out the T nuts. Install them on the notches of the Z axis holder. Remember to install it first. And don't set them tight yet. Then turn the printer for the next step. Put the Z axis gantry in. And let the T nuts pass the gantry notches. Hold the X axis gantry. Put the screw rod in from the top. Let the rod pass everything to the shaft coupling. Tight the screws on the coupling. Then the screw rod is held tight. Then use the two short screws to fix the Z-axis gantry. Align the printer and the gantry. Put the screws in. Then use the 3mm screwdriver to tight them. Set them tight. And make sure it's stable. Then use the 2.5mm screwdriver. Tight the T-nuts, it will hold the gantry, too. Remember not to do this before the previous two screws. Turn the printer 180 degrees. Use the two long screws and a 3mm screwdriver. Put them into the two notches. Then tight them. Remove the plastic wrap to release the heat bed. Remove the glass clips. Take off the protective film. It's a 200 by 200 millimeters tempered glass. Put the plate back. Then use the clips to settle it.
Take the power cable out. Connect it to the printer. Turn it on. The screen lights up with the logo. OK now we can set it up. Preheat the printer for bed leveling. Enter the leveling field after the heating. Click point 1 to start. The printer head goes down and stops at point 1. Then do the manual bed leveling process. If you don't know how, please check our channel to see the tutorial. Then rise the print head up. Take out the filament holder. Set up the filament. Stretch the filament into the filament sensor. The lights should be on when the filament passes. Then use the PTFE tube to guide it. Hold the switch and put the filament in. Make sure the filament loads properly. Then take the SD card out. Put it into the printer. You're all set then. Choose a file and start the very first printing. The printer starts once the temperature reaches. It works perfectly. So you can start to enjoy your printing now. That's all for today. For any questions please leave comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. So that you can get our latest update the first time. Have a great day and happy 3D printing. See you in the next video.